Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. And it's time to head back into South Australia to talk Western Air Netball, where Rihanna Freeman, our correspondent from that part of the world, joins me on the line. Rihanna, great to have you back. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you, and good to be back. Great to have you back. Now, we had some fairly close games happen across the weekend. At least one of them was certainly a nail-biter. So we should well start there. That was between the Sejuna Blues and Western United. Thrilling contest this one. Yeah, um, I think last week we said that this would be a really good game and I think from memory I tipped West used to come out on top. Well, if I didn't, I'll say that I did. Um, And they did. They came out on top by three goals against Blues. Um, I hear at three-quarter time Blues were down by nine um, and then when Westies were applying the pressure, um, Blues had the opportunity to really lift and um, play their best game and put their best foot forward, and they really did in that last quarter and brought the gap back to a three-goal margin. Um, I've been told Chloe Etridge for Westies, um, I have mentioned her, I think, every week. She's having an outstanding start to this season. She plays goal defence and um, helps coach the Westies along with Jade. So um, she played goal defence, made a huge impact on the game. Um, yeah, her pressure and defensive work and rebounds and just the way she reads the ball certainly kept Westies in front. Um, Blues coach has told me that all of their players are worthy of best player. Um, they're finally sort of combining really well, um, finding a few combinations that are working really well. But best of the day was Hayley Clayton, who normally plays in goalkeeper, um, had lots of hands at the ball, had quite a few turnovers, um, was a really important role in that fourth quarter to get back to the three-goal margin and um, works really hard against what is normally a very tall goalie with Durrani Hoffrichter. So I think Westies would be really happy with this win um, and Blues, although they had the loss, really happy to know um, that their work is paying off and they seem to be uh, getting things where they need to be on the court. Which of the other games took your fancy there, Rihanna? Um, well, we had then we had Hawks and uh, Wirral are taking on each other, which, of course, I coached the Hawks girls um, and Wirral as last year premiers. The first uh, quarter, Wirral were only up by six. Um, and then at halftime, they're up by 14. So three quarter times, they were up by 10 um, and then ended up winning the game by 17. So it was quite a um, up and down game by Hawks and Wirrella. Wirrella were really strong all the way down the court. They've had a couple of pickups this year. Um, Chelsea Webster was nice to um, see sort of what she was all about and how she played. She plays through the centre. Extremely fast player. Um, really got that ball moving from one end to the other, makes a lot of space, um, and I think she's going to be a huge asset to their side. Um, they've also got another new player in the team, um, Tara Ackland. She started at wing defence, played a bit of centre and wing attack, and she's also a great pick-up for them. Um, we're all looking outstanding. Um, Emma in goal shooter was fabulous as always, but my pick for best player this game would have been uh, Sophie Keller. She played goal defence. Her defensive skills were outstanding. Um Hawks still sort of finding our groove, finding our combinations and getting those young ones through the centre to feel comfortable. Um, Summer Braz is our young player. She played wing attack, played a brilliant game um, and certainly building on from the last week. So Hawks disappointed with a 17-goal loss to Wirrella, but, um, you know, it's early in the season and hopefully we can... uh, get a little bit more settled and, and close that margin in the next round. Fevy with the bye. Now, they're going to be pretty hungry against Western United. This will be a fairly mouth-watering contest. Yeah, so Fevy um, with having the bye against playing Kniba, I know they hit the track on the Saturday morning. Um, didn't want to lose any of their match fitness. Courtney Trowbridge um, had them out hitting the court, making sure that they're staying in form. Um, of course, they had a bye last week and then coming into the association game this weekend. Uh, a few of them won't play, so she's really keen to, um, some of them were having a two-week gap, making sure that they stay fit um, and have hands on the ball. So um, although they didn't have a game, they would have had an absolute, an intense hit out, I imagine, on Saturday morning. So, um, yeah, having a bye, but still staying in form. It'll be a case of David versus Goliath in the other game, Rihanna. Uh, so it's going to take a fair effort for Sejuna Blues to get a result here. 
But uh, stranger things have happened. So uh, what's your tip going to be? How do you think this will go? Because if ever we're going to get uh, Sejuna coming out and really priming themselves for a shock win, it has to be next week. And we might as well just preview it, even though we'll uh, touch on it again next week. Well, you certainly will be with Dan Crouch. But uh, that game in two weeks' time, how do you see it going? Um, yes, I definitely think Sajuna Blues are going to have to work really hard to match up against Wurla. Um, Wurla coming off a more or less unchanged team from last year, so they've got consistency and have played together a lot um, and are settling with those two new players. Blues finding a few new combinations, but still um, pretty consistent through their grade as to what they've had the last couple of years. I think Wurla would be far too strong in that game, but um, Blues building um, early in the season, which is what we want to see. We'll talk about the association netball this weekend. So your association up against Eastern Air. How do you see it going? And tell us more about the uh, event and just profile the game for us from uh, other years gone by. Yeah, so really happy to have the association game back on the book um, and back in the program this year. Both Western Air and Eastern Air keen to get it back. And um, Eastern Air having only the five teams and... And being able to fit it in, we're really appreciative of. Um, We've got another really good point being that we've got A and B grade for seniors, which is outstanding. I know in other years we've had managed just to get an A grade, but getting both the A and B this year. Um, I'll just run through times. We've got at 10 o'clock at Woodner, 13s 1 taking on 15s 2. And then at 11.30, we've got 13s 2 taking on 15s and 15's one, and then at one o'clock we've got the under 17's and B grade, and then at 2.30 we've got the A grade. Bit of a look at the A grade side, we've got Emma Willis, um, who's captaining the side, so she's from Wirrala, along with her, um, she's got a couple of teammates in the team with Sophie Kellett, Jasmine Billing, and Hayley Webb, so all four of those girls from Wirrala, which certainly helps us in the A grade, because we've already got some pre-existing, um, you know, pair-ups and that sort of thing down the court. And then we've got Durrani Hoffrichter from Westies, um, really tall goalie. I think she'll be a huge asset and will pair with Emma Willis really well. Shannon Johnson and Alana Cotton from Hawks, um, both sort of running through the centre and, and Alana sort of back in defence when we need her. And Nikki Sleep and Lindsay Denton from Sevy, who are a fabulous defending combination. Um, so again, that'll be a really nice combination uh, for us to go into this association match. I haven't seen too much about Eastern Air side, so a bit hard to see how we'll match up. But we had a training during the week um, and the girls looked outstanding. They combined really well. Um, and just really looking forward to seeing how they put it all together on the court. And then we've got B grade, um, which is coached by Lindsay Denton, Rochelle Wheaton, Taylor Collins, Courtney Trowbridge, Marnie Trowbridge, Nakia Skinner, Java Shippard, Rhea Sleep, Chloe Etridge and Talene Etridge. So um, a really strong B grade as well. These girls had a hit out against each other on the court and um, you most certainly didn't have a standout A grade versus B grade. It was a very well-matched game. So very excited to see how this plays out. We've got some fabulous juniors. Um, looking forward to seeing how they all go on the court on Saturday. Keen to have a watch and keen to give you a full report next week at our standout players and um, certainly mention a few of those juniors who um, put their best foot forward on association game at Woodner. Now, just on the platform that these association games provide for really uh, good aspiring young netballers who could potentially go into training teams for the Thunderbirds, etc. Just tell us, um, you know, the history behind that. There's obviously been a number of good players that have come out of these regions before. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, for the in speaking just in terms of the juniors, they have this association match, and then uh, at the end of the month, we have a carnival where all the associations on the EP play each other at lock. Um, so this association game is a really good opportunity for coaches to um, work on combinations and give these girls the opportunity to play together and you know, really gel as a team and sort of come up with a few team tactics and learn a few new things. And then they go on to the lock carnival, which then, you know, is like the second round of this sort of netball game. And um, they can just build on that from there. And then the team ones from there go on to country carnival. So it's really good to see the consistency with these teams across those three carnival types. Um, games and it certainly gives them 
uh, some helping hands and helps their their talent and helps them push them that little bit further. And and of course, at these sorts of events, when we get to Adelaide, is where they sort of get seen and put on a bit of a piece of paper as one to watch. So certainly a, a building or a stepping stone towards uh, going further in the netball career. Well, Rana Freeman, enjoy the pause in regular competition action and we'll speak to you again next week. Thanks a lot for your time. No worries. Thank you for having me.